everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part one of the build of the LEGO Speed Champions Ford F-150 Raptor and Ford Model A Hot Rod. It's a kind of a long name for a set, but um, it has a couple cars, a lot of accessories. Uh, something's really cool about this set is we get um, Welder Guy, remember him from series, I don't know, 11 or 12 of the collectible minifigures. So he's made a return. He's in the set, and then looking at the back of the box, you can kind of see all the stuff that comes with it. It looks like our our Ford comes with a working suspension, so we'll have to um, build it to see what what really it has. So that's why we do these videos. We um, enjoy seeing kind of the builds of everything and how things are put together, and then you can see right there. An actual picture of the Ford Raptor and then a picture of the classic Ford hot rod. Um, move that down just a little bit more. Check out the contents of this box. Alright, so this is a good sight. I wish they had this in the last video that I did because my sticker sheet was all messed up. So we have a bag in here with our our instruction books and our sticker sheet in perfect condition. So, big sticker sheet. We have three instruction books. So you see it in a Ford officially licensed product. And we have numbered bags. We have one, two, three, four, and five. So obviously we're going to start with bag number one. There's all of our parts for bag one. A couple small bags in the big bag. Check that out. Pieces are going everywhere. One more. All right. We're going to begin with instruction book one. We have a brick separator. Put that off to the side. I kind of have plenty of those. We have our first minifigure, which is going to be a, um, I guess, one of the drivers to the cars. And this is going to be for the hot rod car. So he has a black helmet with a clear visor. So that is our first minifigure. And the first thing we're going to build before we build any car is a, um, uh, what do you call it, a motor lift or an engine lift. It's basically a, a little hook and crane that you can lift out a engine out of any car. All right, so we have a couple one by one plates with the clips on the top. We're gonna put like that. We have this Technic piece that we're gonna slide this bar through. We're gonna slide it about halfway through. And then we have a axle with a stop on it. Put a couple half bushings on. And then we'll snap this bar onto that clip piece. axle joiner with a couple axles and then two of these axle ends with click hinge type pieces they're both oriented the same way goes 
there, and then the instructions show it kind of rotated like this. Next is some more Technic pieces. with a couple bars in here. Now it goes there. So you can kind of see it's created this forklift shape. All right, so that's it for this thing. We'll go ahead and move it to the side because now we are going to build our cool little Model A hot rod. Start with some plates. Zoom out just a bit so we can see the whole thing. Couple brackets with a one by two plate. So this must be the rear, so we have the red lights, which are typically the brake lights. And we're going to do our first sticker, sticker number one. It says Y9172, it's the license plate. Okay, turn it ever so slightly. A couple corner bricks, some brackets. Two headlight bricks. Each one has a one by one plate on it. We have these modified plates with the click hinge bar in the middle. some more Technic. A lot of Technic in here, or, or not a lot, but more than I'm used to in the uh, Speed Champion sets. Most of them have little to none as far as the Technic is concerned. We have this modified axle with a perpendicular pinhole piece. Alright, so these are looks like the axles for our front wheels. with clips on the side, a blue plate that goes on that jumper tile, just making sure that's right, that's kind of weird that they did that. Alright, next we have these curved bricks with a plate on it and I'm gonna drop something, do it every video. Should be used to that by now. If you watch a lot of my videos, you know that I drop something every video. We've got 
four of these sweeping curve pieces. It's going to create the, the trunk area for the Model A. I did not notice this, but these are printed door panels with the flames on it. How cool is that? I'll tell you how cool it is. It's very cool. Some black corner tiles. everything together. Alright, we have a bracket with a double wide cheese slope that's facing upwards. And we're going to put sticker number 14 on. It's the Ford logo. basically have one on each side. Alright, very good. Next we have a jumper tile. Two of these plates with the rails on the side. Two one by two plates and then two these slopes. I have two of these black ice cream cone pieces. We're going to put a trans yellow one by one round tile on each one. Goes like that. Next we have a arch top window with a lattice piece inside of it. Attach it to a bracket. That we have a radiator cap. And we're gonna put our front license plate number Y9172 just like the back. And this attaches right to the front. So there's our front radiator. Another one of these printed one by one round tiles. With this giant air intake panel. Next, we have two of these large exhaust ports. There we go on each side of the engine block area. <laughs> They're really large and over exaggerated. Alright, so next we have the front wheels. They're the white wheels with black tires and we have this cool little printed hubcap piece right in the middle. Is there. We're going to repeat it for the other side. It's again our little printed piece. Alright, so there's our two front tires. screen and roof of the hot rod goes like that 
Turn this over. We're going to put a clear anti-tile right here. Help hold everything together. Now we have some Technic bricks. Go right there. We have a red bushing on this axle. Slide these wheels and tires together. So that goes in there. Slide that all the way through. Next wheel and tire. Oops, let's make sure we get it all the way on there. Goes there. I'm going to pull it apart just a little bit. Give it a little bit of room in there to, to move around. Should be able to spin it, and it spins for quite a few revolutions before friction takes over. If you've got it squeezed too tight, let me do it. So right now it's too tight. You can see I'm spinning it, and it's not even making one revolution. So you need to make sure that you pull it apart ever so slightly. It doesn't take much, but there is some wiggle room in there. And once you have that, you can see how freely it spins compared to before. So how cool is that? That is the hot rod. Um, we do have a little engine piece that we're going to build. Turn this over. These are those printed one by one round tiles. It's the kind of shiny dark bluish gray with the silver printed middle. So that is what gets lifted with our little crane here. That completes instruction book one and bag number one. So that was pretty, pretty quick. Move this to the side. Extra pieces flying everywhere. Because we are now going to move on to instruction book two and bag number two. All right, so instruction book two and bag number two is going to begin the build of the Raptor. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I am not a truck guy at all. I do not care for pickup trucks. Um, I'm more of a car guy, especially a sports car enthusiast, but all that being said, if I were to have to buy a truck, then a Raptor would probably be the truck that I would get. It's basically a, um, a sports car in a truck's body. It's super, super cool. So here's the, um, the minifigure, he's the Raptor. Um, driver. So we're going to begin with some Technic pieces. We have a Technic brick. A couple friction pins that we're going to connect. Another Technic brick too. Then we have more friction pins. And the black pins are the friction pins. If you haven't watched any of my Technic videos, then you may not be too familiar with some of these terms. And then these tan three long pieces are non-friction pins. That basically means that they, they can spin freely of whatever they're inserted into. Some blue brackets and 
another one by four plate, two by three. Looks good there. This truck is actually turning out bigger than I thought it would be. It doesn't look this big on the picture. Once again, another fun part about building these sets is you um, get to experience some of this stuff. You're like, wow, this is uh, a lot bigger than I thought. Or you have the, uh, the opposite where you say, wow, that's it? I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. So you're either pleasantly surprised or slightly disappointed. Alright, so we're going to do eight of these two by two or a one by one studs stacked on top of each other. It's basically supposed to look like shock absorbers. tricky to get on but once you kind of find the little spot they're supposed to be on they go in pretty easily all right that looks good now we have quite a few of these anti tiles clear version of them that are going to hang out on the front here. Turn this back over. We have a tow ball hook piece along with a 2x4 tile. So this is the back of the truck. We've got some brackets. Turn this back over, and we have some L-shaped Technic lift arms. They're going to go on these Technic pins that are exposed. Next, we have ball pieces that go in this one goes there and a toe ball piece in this one that'll go there two more these also get the toe ball piece so this is basically going to create our suspension. So you can see when you turn it around how they gravity takes over. They kind of fall down. Alright, so here's the bed of the truck. slopes. And I'm knocking pieces off. This is not gonna, oh, just knocked both of them off. 
come on. And they're not going to go on very easily unless I take this slightly apart. I wonder if that'll count for my piece that I drop every video. Because it did hit the floor. Goes there. Goes there. One more cheese slope. There. Okay. Reorient it towards the back. We've got four one by two plates. Yellow two by four brick. some slotted tiles. All right, now we've kind of hit the bracket jackpot here. We're gonna line the sides all the way down sides of all of these brackets. Start with a black one. We go blue. Come on. Blue, blue, blue. And on the inside, these long plates will Help hold everything together. A one by two plate and a one by two tile. Both going to go on the end. And we have a black one by two plate with the blue one by two tile. Let's go there. Four double wide cheese slopes. And four fenders. on the back, it kind of is going to frame the, the back bed area. And then all these plates will help tie it together. Let's 
six of those cheese slopes and that looks like it completes this portion of the build. I did have all right. I have an extra piece that shouldn't be an extra piece. Let's see if I can squeeze it on here. It's basically that two by two plate. The problem is can't get it on with that fender there. So I made a mistake. We're all human. We make mistakes. There and you can kind of see the gap right in here. It's because we're missing that plate. So I'm gonna pop this off. Pop these two off. Luckily it was a easy enough fix. Those two go there. All right, now it looks like we're left with a normal amount of extra pieces. All right, so um, we're gonna stop this build here. We're ex probably exactly halfway through. Looks like we are kind of right at the fold of instruction book two, and we have instruction book three as well. So this is a good halfway point. So we had this super cool hot rod that we built in bag one and then bag two we're beginning the um the raptor and we got that other little, little motor mount thing so super cool stuff don't miss part two where we finish this set we're gonna um, finish the raptor and all the accessory pieces that go with this cool little speed champion set so thanks for watching appreciate everyone that watches my videos you're my biggest fans if you're my biggest fan let me know put a comment down below and we will see you in the next video.